you fuck little girl. You better donate. Life would be a huge dick. I don't understand this question. Incoming mail. What sucks? Even oh, yeah, what's inanimate sucks? objects that are almost out to get you. Yeah. Radar guns. Ooh. Hmm. Of course, wings would go there. Trampolines. Stairs. <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck stairs, you, man. man. Trying to hold me down. The struggle to climb them, and they're always that that threat of death. Underage girls at parties. Underage <laughs> those girls are at parties are, those are dicks. Those are animate, though. You brought the topic up. Remember, I was like, we were brainstorming for topics, and yeah, you... child porn. Child pornography is such a loosely based thing. Like, but like even 16 at 45, that I, I'd let that slide because a 16 year old can make her own damn decisions. I'd cut child pornography off around 12. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Where would wait. you cut child pornography off on? No, twelve. He... Do you still think the age of cons... No, I never said the age of consent should be twelve. I did say the age of consent should be twelve. You know why I said that? I knew girls that were like twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fucking on the regular. It has nothing to do with me being a pedophile. What I said is they should cut. Matter of fact, I'm not. Even, I'm not even gonna. I'm never gonna even put that out there. The, the answer is. No to both. It's bad. I stay away from it because I, you know, I have enough. You never watch some shit by yourself that you probably thought, man, I should be watching this. <laughs> I don't normally get to the point of <laughs> well, watching it. The thumbnail think looks that I've bad. I've seen a tremendous know. amount in my life. Um, I saw a guy die by getting fucked by a horse. Wow. Oh. Mine was, I watched 14 year old throat fucked by a horse until she vomited and it came on her face. Uh, oh, oh, wow. I was like, Jesus. why am I watching this? <laughs> How did what did I you get? This? What did you did get? Survive? <laughs> oh, no, no. It was like, I don't even know how I got to the dark side of the internet that day. <laughs> that's not even, that's not even the dark side of YouTube. That's the dark side of the whole entire internet. Like, you know, you know. videos. So obviously you can't catch everything that goes through hell. I've seen I've seen a guy I've seen an underage kid get his dick sucked. On Dead serious. I, I don't ask about the video now. It's probably took down. You have a, a right to privacy. You know it, it's okay. On the other hand, a lot of the people who have privacy are misusing it. So I be, I think you should crack down on people that are actually making children fuck, than people watching children fuck. You should crack down on all of them. No, but see if if you put a if you put a bigger thing on like person that's watching. You can get the person watching way easier than you can get the ring leader of some like child porn ring. What do you think, Kyle? I think you gotta punish anything that pumps money into that evil industry. If if it has anything to do with a child Real being mis children. being mistreated, then it's bad and it shouldn't should be punished. What if you click on interest, Kyle? What? Like, all right, let's say you. Um, Say you're walked, you're looking on like. Uh, Are you talking about accidentally now. viewing? Not accidentally, like even like you click on interest, you were like, look at this shocking photo, and you click on it, it's like child porn. Or be able. Are to, you looking at it this way? Let me yeah. let me let me spin it on you, boogie. He might be a pedophile, but he's taking other venues out than actually chasing children. You know, I think cartoon pedophilia is a victimless crime, and I don't think it should be considered. It's you disfavorable. Know. I guess yeah, somebody. I don't, I'm not gonna yeah. like it. So it's I'm not curious. for me. I mean, like, Does look at this way. The Django porn? Unchained was a racist movie. It's still very fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Wings. Now we does, we got in some dark hold on a shit now, huh? Wings. Does cartoon child porn get the painkiller already stamp of approval? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't get that stamp by myself. That's a that's a that's a that's a four way stamp. I say no. I say no. <laughs> Kyle says no. No. It's two wings up. No. Dude, if I get a vote, I'm, I'm just saying like there's worse things out there than to put a, a guy watching cars. I have to say no because of this community. Because if I say yes, people are just gonna go crazy. I mean, look well, here. Like, do you think a guy who watches cartoon porn deserves to be in jail? No, for cartoon porn, like even if it's a six-year-old getting banged by an obstacle testicle, yeah, that's like an octopus done, testicle. Up, done. <laughs> done. Done. How oh. can I have a comment on that? What could I possibly say? I mean, yeah, the octopus testicle. You've seen it. You've seen it. I mean, you've seen those Japanese ten tentacle porn. Yeah, I crap. swear. Like, I don't know. I... 
you know, the Facebook picture where the camera's up and they're like, ah, yeah. please come in my mouth. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are they 18? Should we be talking about them like this? Oh, geez. We should probably should have asked that before. Uh-oh. Wings, how old are they? Ah, uh, I don't know, but the fact is they already have porno out of some of them giving a guy a blowjob, so it's all good. Oh, well, then they must be 18. So, <laughs> then we're good to go. Yeah, because you can't do that until you're 18. Yes. Oh, you're, you're 14, pimp. It's not your time. Your time's when you're 18 and you're going after the 14 year. That's not, that's not true. Whoa, don't listen to Wings Redemption. Whoa, 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 he's, no, he's trying to make you a fucking criminal. No, 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 yeah, no. No, don't do that. Don't, let, me, let me explain myself before you talk over me. Please, please. The fact is, almost every girl I knew when I was in high school was always dating a guy that was 22, 23. I mean, she'd be like 15 or 16. It's almost almost the status quo norm. It's only taboo when you bring politicians into the thing. No. Um, I mean, you guys consider and disagree all you want, but how often did you see a girl dating a guy her age? Girls always went for the older guy, be it whatever subject, whatever number you want to put with them. They for always me, did it was older guys. They, they had cars. They had money to buy them stuff. They had those kind of things. I have I have like college or high school age girls hitting on me left and right. I say no, thank you. That's that's not that's just a one way ticket to getting fucked up. You stay I away from that. But the, you you just said you have high school girls hitting on you. Girls go after the older guys. It might not be your time yet. You might bloom late like Kyle. <laughs> not everybody gets to be Woody. Right. That should be a crime. But I don't know about uh, you know notifying his neighbors for the rest of his life. That seems yeah, like too really. stiff a penalty. What about the punishment. guy who got ten years for the blowjob on the seventeen-year-old girl? That's retarded. <laughs> right, look, look here, look here. Tell the bitch to brush her teeth and go on with your fucking life. <laughs> um, I mean, seriously, I would I would choke a fucking cop if he tried to put me in on charges like that. <laughs> but what'd you bring me in for? See how that works out for you. <laughs> oh no, I'd go down shooting. Let me tell you this. If I ever get to the point where I gotta serve human incarceration, I will go <laughs> suicide by cop. Hmm. New topic! <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. We haven't heard EMR's thoughts on us. Uh... She was 15 at the time. Um, in the UK, 16 is the age of consent, so she was borderline. And he's 25 or 26. I'm 25, so I think he's a year older than I am. Oh, and wait, there's, uh, there's one more thing. You can't send or receive nude photos until you're 18. That is correct. That is correct. And the other thing is, and you're probably going to throw this out. I've heard other people say this. She accept, She did accept the file transfers. Now, I don't know. I didn't read the chat logs. I don't know if he was like, hey, look at my pet dog or something like that. He, I'm pretty sure he probably said, hey, look at my cock. And then sent a picture no. and she accepted it. So how do you feel about the situation, Wings? I think what you just said right there is 100% what a case is. I mean, no matter what her age is, she actually knows reason. And she knew what she was accepting. She knew what she was getting into. The conversation on the logs that I read were pretty hot and heavy to begin with. And she, she, it, and they were more than one day old. It wasn't like, you know, like, what are you doing? I mean, there's just so many ways that the girl could get out of the conversation. But what she did, she used it to blackmail the guy. And, and she basically let him on. She's basically what you call a slut. You ever see those kind of girls that try to get you to have sex with him and then throw a rape clause out to try to get some money? That's what this right here is. She used JX23 as a springboard to try to get more popularity and more traffic to her YouTube channel, of all things. I think it was a bad thing that happened to him. I think it's kind of stupid, but I also think it's kind of positive that us as a gaming community had our first sex scandal. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why <laughs> so, he, like, look, shut thoughts, everything down. <laughs> I somewhat overlap with Wings in that, like, there was this power imbalance, right? He has, what, one in 100, 125,000 subs, something like that. He's been in the channel, for, been in the YouTube community for a long time, and I bet that she wouldn't have tolerated his behavior if um, if he wasn't like a powerful YouTube commentator. But because he was, she kind of tolerated it. And when you look at the chats, she'd be like, you know, like, hey man, check out this website or something. He's like, screw that, let's webcam. <laughs> I when I saw the chats, I saw a girl constantly trying to change the topic. I saw a girl who really wasn't comfortable with this but kind of tolerated more than she would have anyway because of his <laughs> power balance. Yeah, but... Because right. of what he could have done for her. Oh, and, why? oh by the way... Uh, well, just, well, 10 seconds longer. By the way, you know, like, at 15, and she turned 16 during the, uh, I don't know, course of events, she, um... I don't even hold her completely responsible for all her own actions. She's just a little kid. He's 26 years old. 26. Like, that's not 19. He's not even 22. He's not college. 
He's a full-fledged grown-up, 26 and 15. You're He's living, you're living in, you're living in Metropolis, Woody. 16 and every everywhere else in the world is three years past childbearing age. She is fully aware of her actions. She is fully aware of what she did to him, and she even gloated on it. No, man. It, she, she gonna, here's my thing, kid. though. Like, she's like, a kid, and and it, it just wanted to make this one last point. I'm sorry, Kyle. Was that um, that a 26 year old and a 15 year old is really not that much more creepy than me and a 15 year old, right? This wasn't a borderline case. He was out of the whole teenage, college, high school scene for a long time, just like me. Uh, here's my thing, though. I and I, I, I kind of I want to throw some of this on him because she, if she was 15, like I, I definitely know better than to be talking to a 15 year old girl like that. Like I make people show me ID before I will have a conversation with them. <laughs> but like literally, but but like come on, it's she could have left any. It wasn't like he was like in her face, like interrogating her. He's sending her messages online at any time. She could block him, turn Skype off, walk away from the computer. But no, she keeps going and going when it's so obvious to anybody with half a fucking brain that the dude just wants to see your tits. Like, that's what his goal is. Like, he wants tits. It's tits or get the fuck out. He doesn't want to talk about movies <laughs> or links or anything like that. He should have said that, and that would have made things a lot easier on him. Uh, I, dude, he was, he was playing a Wait, but if he's But if he's looking... And also, if he's looking for that, is that not soliciting a minor then? That's... Not in the UK. Yeah, actually it is, yeah. Yeah. So it is. So what you're saying is his intent. So what you're saying though is his intent is illegal to begin with. Absolutely, yes it is. Stuff. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm thinking he's getting a, I'm, I'm think, I think he's getting a worse rat than he should. It, it, people are making him out to be the sexual predator. Well, you know what it is that what it comes down to is that there's the problem is especially with <laughs> online nowadays is there's that there's a range of stuff, right? It's like everything now is like sexual offender. It's like, okay, that's it's it's a binary thing when it really isn't. You know, it's like this is not the equivalent of say, you know, kidnapping someone and, and you know, uh, and, and raping them. This is not the equivalent of that. But, you know, in, in everyone's eyes, when you get registered as that, it's like, all right, that's, that's what you are, you know? And the problem is, po politically, you know, nobody's going to be like, hey, is really, is, is our kids texting each other, you know, new pictures? Is that, should that give that guy, uh, you know, put him on the sex offender registry for life on that? It's like, ah. And they're, and they're all 18, you know, it's like they're 17 year old kids texting each other new photos. Is that, is that a, you know, a lifelong offense that should follow you? It's like, probably, probably not, you know, but no like politician, that. but no politician is going to stick their neck on the line. Yeah. Like, because then what, what happens? Then all their opponents are like, you know what this guy was? He was soft on child porn. It's like, well, <laughs> it, it seems like you could save all the prosecution, all the sexual predator um, registration for people who do things in real life. You know, like I, I think that if he were to have any criminal charges pressed against him, that that would probably be over the top. Having said that, I don't you know. It's it's a fucked up situation, and I, in the end, I think they're both assholes. I think I think we can all agree that both of them are assholes. Yeah, I think I, we can. I think we can. I think she put up with a lot more than she would have if he didn't have a big YouTube channel. Yeah. All right. Since we're talking about you know people talking in other people's ears, what about this bill they want to ban copyright streaming? Yeah. So. Story about that guy that got 30 days in jail. <laughs> Raping yeah. a convicted yeah, of raping a 14 year old. My, my well. joke had nothing to do with that, by the way. I was certainly not <laughs> making light of that. I kind of follow that judge, though, but like, because what they did was consensual sex, but it's considered statutory rape by law. And the judge mm -hmm. kind of understood that, and he didn't want to punish him, like, give him 15 years in jail because How old he was had the, guy? the guy was like in his early 30s, and the girl was 14. Really? And he let that go? He, he, no, he gave him 30 days in He gave him a 15 year sentence, or it might have been 14 years. And he suspended it all but one month. <clears throat> he gave him a month in jail for, for a 30, like, let's just say 32 year old guy banging a 14 year old. No, all right. I, the girl even came up to the stand and said she slept with him on her own volition. And, like, he agreed that he, yes, he did sleep with her. And it was, it was a, just like sex, it was normal sex. It just happened to be between a 32 year old and a 14 year old, and the, I mean it's been wrong. It's been wrong a lot. Like Did I know I had a buddy. To hook up with some little girl? No, no, that would no. Come on, Actually, Woody know. Allen. Woody Allen was. Oh, like, I, I was so in real really life. Young. That's Woody Allen. Woody Allen uh, ended up with a buddy that actually his wife when they first started going out was 16. And like they've been together like six years now. Wait, wait. She was 17 when the relationship started, and it lasted for four years. That's right. 
So when she became 21, he got rid of her. <laughs> he, was, he said, au revoir, Shoshana. <laughs> Time to get you a new model, trading up. <laughs> He's got like a billion dollars. So. I do, but I want to give you that. Do you remember what the video was about? It was a podcast show. And you said that it was okay for basically a female teacher that was to not sexually it. assault a, a male student. It was nothing to do with the video content. It was it was one of our advertisements. No, you, it was one of our advertisements it was for on sexualizing a minor. No, it was not. It was an advertisement. Oh, we had the video. It was. So ab- I just want you to know that it was advertisement on one of our podcast shows that we weren't allowed to do. Well, we have the video anyway. You can have so, the video if you want, dude. We'll and I want to talk about some bullshit. Bullshit. You know, dude. Bullshit worldwide. That's what they basically should call it because this is what the news be trying to put on us. I don't know if you guys follow the news. I certainly do. That's why I'm bringing it to you. All right. There was a teacher in Redlands, California that ended up having sex with not one but two of her students and she ended up getting pregnant on one of them. This kind of brings me back into the same story as all the other teachers, especially the one that actually went to jail twice and had the kid for the student. Here's her picture right here. As you can see, she's not a bad looking woman. She's actually rather pretty. And re- well, recently another another one happened. Actually a bunch of them have happened. But these these are the two who are special because they actually had children for the students. Um, Mary had a, a child with like a 13 year old whereas Laura had a child with like a 17 year old. Well, let's go ahead and look at it this way. Obviously they should not have anything to do with kids and they shouldn't have anything to do with teaching. But should they go to jail? Alright. I guess they're doing this all this for political correctness and stuff like this because you wouldn't want like a 38 year old male teacher to have sex with a 13 year old girl. But when, in, in the same aspect you can't have it the other way around. You can't have a 38 year old female have sex with a 13 year old boy. But all that political correct BS aside. Want to get cash rewards for searching online? Welcome to Cumi. A free app that rewards you for doing the things you already do. So if you need to like pay your bills and you know you're going to be a couple dollars short, Cumi is the perfect solution for that one. Like you can make nine bucks like that. Cumi.com. Rewarded search. This was in 2011. My sister's currently 23. You do the math. What's up, sexy? You got a picture I can get? I just want to see. Oh, it gets way worse than this. Like, it gets graphic. I'm not going to show this. My sister happened to notice I had a box of magnums beside my bed. And... She sees this guy selling a unopened box of Trojan Fire and Ice. My sister buy these to bring it back to the house for us. <laughs> but those things were the fucking bomb. <laughs> I hate to tell you. I don't like the story. What makes them good? It makes it makes it feel like she's wetter, and then to her it makes you feel like you're harder because it's cold to her. It makes you feel like your penis is more rigid. With you, it makes it feel like she's extra wet. No, I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> So, How does it, so it feels cold to her? Yeah, it feels cold to her, but it's warm to you. It's fire and ice. You've said it three times. <laughs> yeah, the stream is also endorsing the fire and ice Trojan. Hmm. No, no, just, just stop. Kyle, <laughs> have you ever tried the goat skin ones? Yeah, all of us incest down here, incest and NASCAR. <laughs> Ask me how much I like NASCAR. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to know how much you like incest, actually. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, you never uh, see my family. I, I, no. <laughs> oh, well, it goes to that. Do the women have Abraham Lincoln beards <laughs> like you do? <laughs> I actually shaved mine off. I had a job interview the other day. Hey, I was yeah. going to ask about your job. Didn't you start a new job?
I can't believe you just said that. Okay, dude. Did you not see the video? Come on. Like, come on. I've seen the video. That was me joking around. You know it was me joking. Well, first off, first off, like, but almost both both of those girls are overage now, so you can you can count. I can't believe you just said that. I can't believe you just said that. Okay, dude. Did you not see the video? Like, come on. I've seen the video. That was me joking around. You know it was me joking around. My name is Banish Legion and I'm a ex Wings of Redemption mod. The main reason why I fell out with Wings was because I played the game a lot more relaxed than him. He cared too much about his rank, his diamonds, for, especially for a 34 year old man. I played the game just for fun with my mates such as BGT. He also didn't like the fact that I joked around a lot with troll comments and he ended up unfriending me on his stream for standing up against him. There was a couple of times where Wings asked me sexually phrased questions and made comments when I played with him. I would have been 17 at the time as well. I recorded one of these times, and it was when he asked me if I choked myself while masturbating. Vanish? Yeah? Have you ever tried masturbating while choking yourself? As you can see in the clip, it's very out of the blue. I found it pretty weird, because we weren't discussing anything like that, hence why I clipped it. He also obsessively mentioned about my girlfriend, which I had at the time. Uh, she would have been 17 too. I never told him about my ex, but he found her out through my Twitter. He would constantly say her name. If I was heading off, say her name. If I was doing bad, mention her name. And she also told me that he was stalking her Twitter. And this is because he was liking some of the old posts, obviously by accident, by his fat fingers. Sid Kid wants Queen to let him know when she turns uh, 18. <laughs> Next year, September 6th. My battery's low. That's Shay's worst nightmare. <laughs> All I have to say is that Jordy um, distracted me over Peter Parker. Possibly. Okay. That's what happened. Hold on, though. Hold on. How old is this Shay? Because I know the other one is. Shay, Shay's underage, too. Nah, -uh, nah, -uh. I'm going to be 18. You, you just said, I'm going to be. You just said, I'm going to be 18. Yeah. I mean, he's underage. I'm, <laughs> I'm technically 18. That, you know, technically, the police don't look at that way. I'll tell you about that girl that got a felony for every piece of meat she got caught with. <laughs> but it wasn't yours. No. <laughs> Yo, someone just called me a little kid. I'm gonna have to show you my ID because I drink. Motherfucker, you don't drink at 16. Go the fuck on. Bro, Joy, I swear to God, Joy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna drive down to uh, Merle Beach, or whatever. I mean, low party. key, you who is. Oh. Shit. oh. <laughs> <laughs> check on check action. Let's see. I'm hearing police sirens in the distance. Yeah, not me, not me, son. Shoot, they might be locking Shay up. She might rape Queen. Yo, if she don't say yes the first time. Well, let me, let me tell you, Shay. When when she says no three times, that means yes. So first of all, randoms chat making a big deal about wings playing video games with underage people need to chill. Eight percent of people play with it underage. Yeah, y'all never make a big deal when I'm playing with, like, Brayden. He's, like, 13. A 13-year-old boy? Yeah. Jordy, really? You're it's just that low? It's just because they think you, <laughs> you want to fuck these two low. Legion, look like you need some sleep, son. <laughs> Doc, it looks like you need some dick, son. Shoot, Doc got plenty of dick, son. <laughs> Monsieur Legion, would you like to see the French croissant? Hey, y'all might make fun of my 5XLT, but that's just more gas tank for the love machine. Ooh, I'd like that, Jordy. Mm-hmm. Jordy, your ass going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Shay just needs to drive to Myrtle Beach really slow, to like May 30th slow. <laughs> oh, that's going to be one long drive. That's like, <laughs> it's already 12 hours to get there. Yeah. That, to catch a predator show, like... 
Like, how desperate are those dudes to, like, agree to that kind of shit? Like, seriously. Why don't you just go buy a hooker? Shoot, I used to know a girl that, that danced at the Masters. Like, she, she had, like, four DUIs, so she never had a ride to work, so I, I always drove her to work. And she'd give me, like, $50 to drive her to and from work every day, like $50. Like, she would get back in the truck in the, at night with, like, two, three grand in her pocket. That's dirty. See, I would be pricey. All girls think they're gonna be priced to get hooked on crack cocaine. Ten grand an hour. Like I told my mom, one day I'm gonna become a sugar baby. Yeah, I told her that. I'm, I'm, I'm for real. Like I feel like, am. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine me going to five star hotels in my lingerie, just teasing the down, fuck boys. out of everybody. You know what, Queen? I'm really tired of you pointing out that I'm a short person, and we're gonna have. Some I'm short too, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, how tall are you? How tall are you? How tall are you? Girl, I asked you first. I asked you second. Two's a bigger number. <laughs> you know what? I'm not speaking to you. <laughs> See, she's, pres she's practicing her escort right now. Oh, yeah. I'm not speaking to you. Hit me up I'm when you got four. that money. Rainbow Six is too hard for Shay. You gotta excuse her. <laughs> Bro, Jordy, you can want me, want me, bro. Want me, want me on Overwatch. Want me, want me, want I'd, pro Overwatch. I'd probably still beat you on Overwatch. Bro, I will pee on you, bro, Jordy. <laughs> Show pee. fucking shit on your face. Y'all, y'all is some freaky meat deaky stuff, shit, son. Y'all, y'all talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about beating people in video games in this bitch. <laughs> oh, Mago. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's still relevant for some odd reason. And chat roulette. LOL. Dude, I freaking used to go on those sites so much just to see old Indian men. That's all I. Like, Hello, baby. Did you like show me your stroke vagina? For, did, you, did you show me your vagina? As he strokes his two inch penis. Do you want. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're, shutting, we're shutting the uh, stream off on this note. I'm sorry. I did not consent with why? this conversation. Yeah. Twitch TOS is why. Jordy about to go and stroke that two inch. <laughs> you, you wish Jordy had a two inch, son. You don't. One thing you don't know about Jordy, since you didn't follow me on my YouTube, you need to ask the chat. I see you guys later. We're gonna we're gonna be deleting this. No, I already talked about it. The animal on the little boy. Oh yeah, do you want to talk about that? Oh, you didn't talk about that. You didn't. You didn't talk about that. Well, I'm not. I. I it's not that big of a topic. But like I'm. You you, know, I'm you, pretty sure I want. I'm gonna have to give an enema to Gabe tonight. Oh wait, wait. You're gonna do it? Yeah. Why? She, why she don't. Well, I've I've actually gave an enema before, and she hasn't. There's. All right. There's a lot more to dive into in this subject here. So. Okay. Answer the. Ask the first question. Then. The first question. Why are you giving an enema to your boy? Well, he doesn't want to poop in the toilet. Like, we've got him to stop doing it in his pants. But for him, stop doing it in your pants means you hold it. And that's the wrong thing to do. What he's doing, he's basically getting to the point every time he eats, he just throws it back up because there's no room to put any in because his, his intestines is full. That doesn't seem medically possible, but okay. It is. You, you don't think your intestines can get full? I think eventually you just shit yourself. Well, apparently he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, Kyle's right on this. Like, if I recall my anatomy and physiology from college, the, the process is it's peristalsis, which means that is that what peristalsis is? It, you, you can. I think you're like, talking about you, processes like your heartbeat that you have no control over. Well, it, it's it, there's a term for these muscles that contract one way and not the other. Like the, the, your intestines, they only go down. Peristalsis might be that feeling of knowing where your limbs are without knowing where they are. But it, anyway, it just goes one way. I think that yeah, he'll eventually. Wow, so you're giving him an enema to make him poo because you feel like if he eats well, it more... I, I know he has it because he hasn't pooped in like a week. You know what? And I he, have a story to share. Like, like, he, like tonight, he was sitting on the toilet, and I was in there, and I'm like, come on, buddy, poop for me. And like he had to go so bad, he was jumping up and down on the toilet. I'm like, it's okay, let it out, let it out, let it out. And he wouldn't do it. He just would not do it. And he, he, we went through this a couple times. Like The last time he pooped, he hadn't pooped in like a week. And you wouldn't believe the amount of poop came out this kid. It was probably at least, probably three feet long. <laughs> oh <my laughs> what a champion! Like, oh my I'm god! Like, I was like a fluorescent light bulb. Like, how did it come out of this kid? <laughs> how many Keurigs did it weigh? <laughs>
I didn't pick it up and weigh it, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, good lord, it weigh it looked more than my stuff, and I poop a lot. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna say this, and this is gonna sound very disgusting. If there is in fact another repeat of a three foot long shit, <laughs> you gotta take a picture and upload it. <laughs> I'll do it. He's done it a couple times. As fucked up last as it is, he, I will look at a three foot long poop. Dude, last I time I, and he clogged kitty toilet with it. I picture like a brown turban all swirled up like a like a <laughs> like a giant ice cream in the <laughs> toilet. <Yeah. laughs> this thing was so big that we couldn't flush the toilet. I mean what? I have that like pussy ass trailer toilet. But I had to go get a stick out of the yard and like swirl it around before the toilet <laughs> flushed. Dude, this kid is a champion. This is, he's, he's like a poop master. So, Wings, I will tell you, and I don't know how normal it is, but when I was a little kid, I didn't poop very often either. I used to go, I don't know, four, five days all the time. I remember we went, I was like 15, and we went on this whitewater rafting trip down the Grand Canyon, and uh, it was five days long, five days long, and they brought out a bucket, and there, it was like a five-gallon pail that you would buy like drywall mud in or paint in. And they're like, this is the toilet for the trip. You know, you poo in here. Uh, there's a little, like, privacy tent type thing. And then you take it down to the river. Well, there, there's some discrepancies there. Oh, God. Uh, so. He may beat Bono. Bono's going to be mad. I, 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 I'm pretty sure it is. Because, like, if we give him, like, Pedialax, or, like, laxatives are not even working on him at this point. Because we've been giving him Pedialax okay, the last so, two days. So now that we've established that this kid may need some assistance, why are you the one to provide it? Well, one, I've had an enema myself. Obviously, she has two. She's had kids. But she is more, I am less squeamish than her. Like, I can actually take, you know, poop in, on my hands and stuff. Because, I, like I told her, like, it's probably most likely going to run out of him for the first 30 or 40 seconds. Because he has to lay there and let it kind of marinate and, like, dissolve the poop. Especially if he's constipated in the bowel. Have you and, talked like, to a doctor could, yet? Yeah, we took him to a doctor about two weeks ago. I the, doctor, what... the doctor said that it was because we, we, we showed Madison too much attention. So, but I was like, okay. I, I just feel like it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get some, like, a medical opinion on they, like, somebody they say not he's pooping. He's healthy. I, he just had, he, it's a mental issue. That's what they said. They want to see a psychiatrist. So let's let's roll with this idea. And the that, and the psychiatrist, his dad won't let him see. Okay, all right. So, so let's roll with the idea that this is a mental issue that he's having some sort of hardship around potty. Is it possible that the enema could take that and make it worse? It might. It is a possibility. But right now he's throwing up every day because he's not pooping. He won't eat nothing. Like he sat down today. We pretty much gave him candy today for dinner, and he didn't eat none of it. Yeah. Interesting. Well, um, like, like he's at the point where he don't want to put no more in because he can't hold it no more. And like tonight, if he goes to bed, he'll mess his pants, but he won't mess his pants enough to get him cleared out. What do you end up doing? He'll end up like pooping himself when he goes to sleep. When he wakes up, he has a little bit of room. He'll eat breakfast, he'll eat lunch, and then at dinner time, he won't eat again. So, uh... So it's like a, I mean, I don't know what to do. I'm by no means a father figure. So, yes, you are. But you're, you're I was new like, to the role, but you are. But so I was like, you know, you, usually if I'm in this situation, we get an enema. So I went and got a like a child's enema from Walgreens. So uh, yeah, new new topic. Enema ain't gonna kill you now, Kyle. I mean, but the fact I, is, I, it I, does burn. And it burns. And it my, yeah, an enema does burn. Why would it burn? You, I think you're doing it wrong. It did. No, it doesn't. You're not doing it wrong. It it, it burns because it's the saline. It's the solution in it, and it kind of reacts with the walls of the colon, and it kind of eats away the poop. It, it's not like a painful. What's up, homies? What's up? I heard like a little kid. That's uh, Carlito. Oh. Hey Carlito. God oh my lord, man. Oh my lord, people are just being fucking assholes. Nice back says, why do you always fight with young people? You're such a loser, fat ass, lying pedo. Well thank you, nice back. I'm not any of that except pedo.
Pedo. It is what I am. Like you guys have like the assholes of like children sometimes. You have to put the right information in. They're gonna break the rules regardless. That's like saying like, you know, the mathematics have to be good if, if a kid sneaks his way into a glory hole. <clears throat> Y'all motherfuckers. Man, my dick sure is hard. I wonder if I can get an underage girl to uh come home with me. Get the kid. Hey to Billy, you're from my hometown. Are. Come over. We'll play. We'll listen to the stereo. Predators what? are using Xbox Live to get raped with 12 year old kids. So is this something Advanced UAV needs to worry about? The 12 year old <laughs> boy was like any boy his age, playing video games on Xbox Live when the prosecutor says he met a predator, Richard something. The two chatted using their game consoles for three months when the predator pursued the boy to come to his house and gave him repeated sexual abuse. Look, I'm interested in little girls. You go on with that.